So in this video, I want to talk about the neurotransmission in the autonomic nervous system. So how are signals propagated in the autonomic nervous system? So we are dealing here with a two neuron system. We are always going to have a preganglionic neuron that is releasing a neurotransmitter onto a postganglionic neuron. And this is also releasing a neurotransmitter on the effector side. So we are dealing here with a so-called neuroeffector junction. So we have this two neuron system for the parasympathetic nervous system as well as for the sympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system just has a little bit shorter preganglionic neurons and longer postganglionic neurons than the parasympathetic nervous system. So let's discuss which neurotransmitters are used by the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system for signal transmission. So all the preganglionic neurons are using acetylcholine as the neurotransmitter. So whatever comes out of the CNS, it's going to release acetylcholine. For the postganglionic neuron, it's different. If there's stimulation from the parasympathetic nervous system, then the neurotransmitter released from the postganglionic neuron is going to be acetylcholine. For the sympathetic nervous system, most of the time, it's going to be norepinephrine. Although the sweat glands are innervated by the sympathetic nervous system, we know we sweat when we run away from the lion, the neurotransmitter that is released onto the sweat gland is acetylcholine. And we call this sympathetic cholinergic innervation. Because the sweat glands are innervated by the sympathetic nervous system, but use acetylcholine as a neurotransmitter. The other exception is the adrenal gland, which is, which is innervated by the sympathetic nervous system and releases epinephrine into the circulation. So lastly, let's just sneak in here the somatic nervous system. The somatic nervous system has nothing to do with the autonomic nervous system. However, it also uses acetylcholine as a neurotransmitter. In contrast to the autonomic nervous system, the somatic nervous system is a one neuron system. Once acetylcholine is released onto the skeletal muscle, that results in a contraction of muscle fibers. As we're going to discuss a lot of drugs that mess around with acetylcholine, it is important to know also that the somatic nervous system also uses acetylcholine as a neurotransmitter, as we can then more easily predict side effects of different drugs. This concludes the video on the neurotransmission in the autonomic nervous system.